Cats. And this is Boots Mallison on the bass. And I can't tell you what a blessing, what a mitzvah it is for me and for Boots to kind of romp through songs you know, that, that, that we grew up with, although they were written much longer ago than that. But they've been a, a fabric of our lives. And then to reach this age and look at them again, and you just realize all the more how marvelous they are. And like a classic navy blazer, they never go out of style. George and I will go, Here we go, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. 
popular song from the score, but what really made it important was that at this point, George Gershwin was writing a more fully integrated score for a book musical. And in this case, uh, because particularly with this festival, we are celebrating Gershwin because his particular connection to jazz. And in the pit band for this show, believe it or not, he had Red Nichols, Benny Goodman, um, oh, Gene Krupa on drums, uh, um, Jimmy Dorsey, Jack T. Garden, uh, not too shabby. And by the way, I want to thank the Skip Pearson Foundation for creating all of this wonderful energy on behalf of jazz and really creating a fomenting just a, a community of like-minded spirits. And uh, I think she's with us. The, uh, my connection uh, is through a dear friend, Jackie Osteen from Sumter, South Carolina who decided to, to do a, a double mitzvah. Uh, a, a friend of her and her husband, Hubert, was opening up a new restaurant and she wanted me to come down and play some jazz somewhere. So she put that together and she wanted to find nothing but the best musicians. So she found out about Skip Pearson, who is the reigning, not only the reigning jazz saxophone player, but also a, a wonderful and such a dedicated educator. And he did the gig with me and found me the best musicians. Uh, Red, lovely Reggie on bass, you know, we'd love to meet him. And that was the beginning of a beautiful relationship with, uh, with Shirley Martin and the uh, Skip Pearson Foundation and Skip was, I got to play with him a few times and he was a marvelous player and, and better yet, he had such a respect and a love for the American songbook. Um, Stairway to Paradise was one of his favorites and um, I didn't get to play this with him but uh, uh, I was told this was one of his favorites as well. Thank you. 
Monday, baby Monday. Maybe not. Still, I'm sure to meet him one day.
Oh, take that is cotton ready. Take off that. At Fulton in a steamboat. Hershey and his chocolate bar. Bart in his crazy cap, the laugh is busy. That's how people are. They laugh at me wanting you. Said it would be hello, goodbye. But oh, you came through. Now they're eating humble pie. They all say, we never get together. Darling, let's take a bow. of singing in public, the scariest. I was the most nervous at my sister Abby's wedding. <laughs> uh, even with one of the most glorious Dershwin songs. And the, the song itself has a bit of a story because, uh, well, if you're here, you already know about George Gershwin and you know he died <laughs> a long time ago and much earlier than he should have, absolutely. Uh, but, but after his death, uh, his brother Ira and a lady who was extremely close to George, Kay Swift, who I happened to meet, so she definitely verified this, you know, she certified this was definitely how it happened. They found a melody number 54 and they played it and it was beautiful and Ira put a lyric to it and and I think Kay was able to kind of adapt it and it was used in a in a film starring Dick Haynes and uh it was called the um the shocking Miss Pilgrim and you'll hear now why I sang it at my sister's wedding and She's still married and she still loves her dear Tony. Um, and the fact that dear Tony would love such a rare Gershwin song was a good sign. And uh, he's, he's a real maven for good songs and so is my sister Abby. Anyway, this is called For You, For Me, Forevermore. Guaranteed to, to keep your marriage lasting.
song. Um, I grew up <laughs> as the daughter of a trombone player and um, although my father loved singers like Ella Fitzgerald and Carmen McCree, he liked brass players and um, actually this one, oh, uh, also, he did like, he loved Cannonball Alley. Mm -hmm. And I learned all of the songs on this particular Cannonball CD. CD, no, it was, it was an LP. It was a 78. <laughs> Stop it, Boots. <laughs> because you're a little younger. And this is one of Gershwin's great songs, Foggy Day. Yeah. No, that's getting to know you. <laughs> My sister does that. Thank you. 
looking at the time, making sure we're cool. Are you cool? I hope so. You know me. I'm a lady of a thousand songs. We're cool, Daryl. Okay, good. Um, boots. I think because you are, of course, the master bassist who can give us this range, but I think that this particular song I uh, read just recently because I was, you know, kind of so I taken with getting involved in this project, and thank you, Shirley, it was such a joy to, to delve into these songs again, um, that both George and Ira declared at some point or other that this was their favorite song. But Boots is going to play it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
these songs are just gems, all of them. This one is is the title, the title song, the eponymous Shall We Dance, 1937. This is just a year or so before he died. And um, it was uh, Fred and Ginger. It's like a nice hyphenate. They're just basically one person. And I grew up with the later Shall We Dance from The King and I. And I always thought that was the pinnacle. How could there possibly be any other song that would make me feel the way I still do. Uh, and I have a picture of myself dancing with the king, Yul Brynner, thanks to Max Marangelo, my nephew. <laughs> but I keep falling in love with this, with this song. I recorded it in tandem with a, a Fred and Ginger medley, which had a lot of Gershwin songs, but also Jerome Kern. Uh, and my orchestra was Dave McKenna. His sister's out there. Hi, Jean. And um, this particular song, the way he played it, it just, just thinking about Dave McKenna playing this song, makes me melt so forgive me but um it's a, this song is so good it doesn't you know doesn't need me to enhance it or botch it up
Peace have come to a pretty pass. Our romance is growing flat. For you say this and the other, and I say this or that. Goodness knows what the end will be. Oh, I don't know where I'm at. It seems to me we two will never be one. Something must be done. You say potato, and I say. You say tomato, and I say tomato, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. You say either, and I say you. Can I hear you? You say neither, and I say neither. Chocolate, strawberry. I eat ice cream when I'm. 